everybody and welcome back to Steph's Stories and Crafts. This week we are getting a head start on our Thanksgiving celebrations by reading a story all about my friend who loves Thanksgiving. And for our craft we'll be making these toilet paper roll turkeys and I am thankful for pies. These pies are super cute because you can rotate the filling and show different things that you're thankful for. So what you'll need for your pies is two paper plates, any size will do, markers to decorate with, you could also use crayons, colored pencils, paints, whatever suits your fancy, a push pin and a metal fastener, as well as a pair of scissors. And that's all you'll need. For your turkeys, you'll need a empty toilet paper roll, a glue stick, a pencil, scissors, a stapler, and different colors of colored paper. Alrighty, let's get started. First, I'm going to start with your turkey. The first step is making the beak of your bird, and it is a bit tricky and should likely be done by an adult. All you need to do is simply pinch one side of your toilet paper roll and cut right along that. Now you'll also want to slip your scissors up there and at the very top of your cut piece you'll want to cut two straight lines that go straight up. Just little lines, they don't have to be very big. This just allows you to be able to pinch and pull your beak away from the toilet paper roll a bit better. Now you can cut out just a little piece of red construction paper to make your turkey waddle, which is the red part of the neck. I found out recently that the part that hangs down from the beak is actually called a snood. Just take your glue stick and glue that on right under the beak. Now I'm going to take a marker and give my bird some eyes. Now, my bird is a bit naked, so perhaps we should give him some feathers. What you'll want to do is just lay your hand on a piece of construction paper, trace it, and then cut that out. And I do suggest you fan out your fingers as much as you can on your paper. And then just do that again with your other colors. I'm using three colors, but you can use as many colors as you think suits your bird. Now once you've got all of your hands cut out, layer them together in the order you want them on your bird. Now on mine, because of the way I put them together, on the back there are a little bit of different lengths. So I'm just going to go ahead and staple them all together at the base of the shortest hand and then trim the excess off. Now I'm going to wrap them around my turkey and add two staples on each side. One here and one here. And there you have it. Your turkey's all ready to strut his stuff and gobble gobble. Now I don't know about you and your turkeys, but me and mine are hungry. So let's make them some pie. The first thing you're going to do is decorate your pies. I'm taking one of my plates and making it the crust. So I'm going to color it with a light brown. There you go. And you can set that aside and work on the filling of your pie. Now, for this pie, I made a cherry pie because I love cherry pie. But right now, I think I'm gonna make a pumpkin pie. For the filling of your pie, color the back of your plate and don't worry about going all the way to the edges. Once you've finished decorating your filling, go ahead and cut out the top part of the plate. You'll want this to be as round as possible, but it's okay if it has a few bumps. Now go ahead and cut out a wedge in your filling. Like so. 
You also you don't want to take the point of your slice all the way to the center of your pie. You do need to leave a little bit of room for the bread. Now lay the filling of your pie inside the crust and take your push pin and push a point through right by the tip of your slice that you cut out. I go ahead and push my push pin through twice to make a slightly larger hole. And then I simply stick my bread through and open it up. Now, the next part of this craft is writing in what you're thankful for. So I'm going to take my marker and write on the top wedge of my pie, I'm thankful for... And then inside the wedge is where you write all the things that you're thankful for. And once you've written one thing, you simply rotate the slice and write another. On my cherry pie, I wrote, I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my friends. I'm thankful for my health. I'm thankful for my pets. I'm thankful for laughter. I'm thankful for sunshine. And I'm thankful for all of you watching out there. Thank you so much for tuning in to Stuff Stories and Crafts today. I hope you all have a happy and delicious holiday with your families and enjoyed making these crafts in order to celebrate. Bye!